And of no, course, not by any means. And of course, as I will always, I will constantly remind, so everyone knows, you know, if you lose here, you're not out of the tournament. So, still got a chance to not lose a racket. I, he's trying to figure out if that's a hacked drone, but there's no mozzie, so I either that or he's just taunting it. I, I don't. He must have just been taunting. I it. don't know what he was doing unless there was somebody else from Fnatic. Lusty is still upright. He's going to have to head on over and watch this diffuser. I called him one of the most pivotal people in this tournament. He gets a single kill. Pengu versus Lusty in a 1v1 with diffuser down. You couldn't write this any better. Another 1v1 for both of these teams. Where is Lusty's position? Counter diffusing exactly. from Pengu. Up you go, Lusty. Up you go. But Pengu's there. Lusty got out. Some damage done to the Goyo around the corner. Who's better? Lusty is and Fnatic is. The first team to take out G2 at the 6th Invitational ever! I think I broke my head. Counting out some of this utility. Seeing what he can find. More importantly, looking for those Yokai cam, or excuse me, those Valkyrie cams than anything at this point. And he did manage to spot one sitting on the outside pole just as we uh, peeked away from his point of view. Clips breaking up the board on the roof to get up on the AC vents. Here we go. So he can get that perfect nade down dome. Laser on the gun as well, just to make sure those skeleton key shots land where he needs them to land. Has an ADS in the middle of the floor, though, so Shaiko should be safe from any grenades. How about that Empire Fnatic match? Dude, what? That was an upset. That's crazy. Honestly, I think the DZ game messed with them. I think the DZ game messed with their head. Because I feel like they weren't the same team. It's a joke. I feel like they weren't the same team when they Are played they Fnatic. They are, they are. They are. No. I played with them earlier. So oh yeah. Earlier. No. It's, what? This is what this is what I get for talking shit about them. I meant they were playing amazing, chat. Fuck. I'm sending them. I'm sending them friend request. Fuck. This He'll just sit and wait as the diffuser is going down and will so will do so successfully. Uh -oh. Evil Eye is not able to do too much, but it looks like unfortunately I, we don't know, but it will just cycle through. Everybody's uh That is a interesting evil eye. <laughs> so we don't know what's going on. It looks like the server died, uh, based on the fact that these players are not playing. I mean that's pretty crazy. And they're now heading on over towards Office. Magnet taking a bunch of damage. Virtue does as well. Uno down from Tex. This is at Russian from Fnatic, actually. And nobody sees Tex as he just barrels on in through the window. Kanto will not have enough bullets. Great trigger discipline, but my, my, he misses the shots, Kanto. Fabian with one. Kanto, two big kills as they line up. It is a small magazine, but it does so much damage that it's able to get the job done. Virtue with 10 seconds left. No diffuser. This round is over. G2. What? Yo, this mentality kid's f anybody. Them e buy emotes and stuff like that. So when people are talking about like cool rank, whatever, it's just that I I couldn't think of anything to do with the points that actually was interesting, and so I just made cool rank, which is totally important and has value. It's literally nothing. Sometimes. I hacked a drone in uh, Master. Already in Master. Uh, actually, it wasn't a bad perspective. That was just a. Most uh, notably, the ones that have opened up the soft destruction, like Vertical and Foxy, have not been able to lock it down just yet. Although it seems like that's finally changed. Oh no. Well, it looks like you and I have to curse. <laughs> that's us. It is us. We found it. I always hate guns with infinite magazines, you know? Yep. You just find a portal to another dimension inside of your uh, inside of your mag. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> the unlimited yep. backpack is always a fantastic tool. We're gonna work on that as quickly as possible, folks. Just hang... I hate you, hey, yeah. That was my last one. He is fucking rape dancing as rook. It is.
Crackles, they have Ditch Prime sub. I do not see enough people on. I'll remake, let's see. This game is so bad, dude. The eel system is like just so trash. Yeah, so I, um, I don't really have anyone for uh, Valentine's, and I was wondering if you'd be my Valentine. Oh my god, it's happening. Uh, sure, I guess. Uh, I'll be away though. That's kinda hot. Garage window is open, so. Uh, I think that are my bits from uh, Karma. Uh, stay up, soldier. Rock the cocks while eating socks. Thank you very much. <laughs> In a while, we'll see Eclipse try to leap in, but he goes down. Rafal is able to finish off hot and cold with a smoke gas grenade. And now Mint and Hyper are all that's left in a 2v3 situation. Rafal takes out one. Look at this rotate, though, from Mint. He's gotten right behind them, too, gone into his favor. Seven seconds remain, though. He's over to the pistol to try and finish oh! off, and he gets it! Oh my goodness, Mint with a 1v3 clutch to give Dark Zero yet another round, and it's from his sidearm! Draco, however, getting close to getting this plant onto the ground, is finally going to be able to do it with just a few seconds left. Another Nitro Cell kill is found by Mint, but at the same time, Red Shiro is there over at the back lanes inside of Staff to take out Eclipse. It's down to the 2v2. 30 seconds here for BDS to try and hold on to this position, and Red Shiro along with the Lems will get it done. BDS get those last few kills and win out round number 10. Dark Zero looked like they were crawling back, but BDS shuts the door on them. Great. Open up quite a lot. He just jams, though, trying to take explosively into Piano, and I don't think Achieve is going to expect this. He might, though, and he does. There you go. One down, but there's a second, and he loses the fight, which means Boozy can pick up his teammate. That's huge for Ninjas and Pajamas. The sight take coming in there. That's three for Boozy in total. Big round for him, and he's doing some serious work. This is absolutely incredible watching how TSM is being utterly dismantled. So more on the shoulders now of the Maestro. Psycho gets caught and goes for the running man at the bottom of Spiral Stairs. Finally, a kick at the can for TSM, but it might be too late. There goes the Nitro Cell. It connects on the Kamikaze. Down goes Musi. No ace at all. TSM have managed to turn this one around and then will finally manage to hold off the Nip victory. Still a couple more rounds before OT is... Dito? I, I did want to say one thing. Oh, what's that? I would like to talk about the utter disrespect of G2 banning Nomad, preventing Fnatic from showing off their pilot program skin. I, I, I think that is that is disgusting. They definitely I am, ban Nomad I am, for any other reason. Of course not. Yeah. I am appalled. This is this is psychological warfare. Uh -huh. Fnatic in shambles. Watching Nomad get banned twice, knowing that they can't show off uh, their skins. And then, of course, what other operator has a Fnatic skin? Echo! And who's G2's other ban? Oh! You see, I'm not just a caster. I'm also a genius. And this is obviously why Fnatic is losing, because G2 is totally in their head. You definitely are, Parker. Thank you, Michael. Mm -hmm. Um... So no nope. full coverage. Is there a C4? Is there any way to stop this? The Clash blows up the Koyo shield. That might be enough. A big play from Fabian. Diffuser is down, and it's Magnet now in a 1v1 up against Uno with Pengu bleeding out. Still explosives from Magnet, so he can get underneath this Diffuser. He shoots one. Some damage done to Uno. Magnet almost getting both of them, and the Diffuser is still ticking away, but Uno knows he's going to have to go for it. There's Magnet, oh! but he loses the fight. Uno, what a clutch with tons of time! G2 will stay in this! John to Julio. It seems like here's the execute as Nip just runs right in. C4 does absolutely nothing, but three members of Nip are all on top of each other. Musi down. Pino down. Psycho down. It's all on Julio as Kamikaze is down. And a flawless round from TSM to answer the push from Nip. <laughs> These two teams so close to one another. The very first flawless round of this matchup. And we have a 15th and final round to settle it.
So I will be blocks right in, and then loses himself to a Nitro Cell. Excellent call from Scyther. He's going to look for a run out through the main door, but Hyper and Mint are able to take down two members of Empire. Dan jumps out. <laughs> two beautiful plays from Dan, and now he just needs to wait to see if Scyther's able to get there in time for the Diffuser, which is caught at the final second once again by Dan. Hyper pistol out. He's not going to be able to do anything. Dan single-handedly winning the round for Empire, and what a way to start the map, and what a way to steal any kind of hope they're away. known for their chemistry they're known for their coordination that's what they do better than almost anyone else in the world and that was demonstrated with finesse here when i heard australia was on fire i didn't think they was talking about fanatic <laughs> these boys <laughs> definitely coming out of navi earlier on five man stack is coming charging its way down through dirt tunnel right now let's see if the anticipation is there from the defenders the jackal track there has probably actually given away the location because that uh, player is likely to know that he's only been into dirt tunnel but cyber will get the first First kill onto Hysterics to open things up. All guns aimed in that direction. Now M King will lose his life as he charges in. As oh. will Hunt. As will Hunt. So <laughs> and novice and surely Cyber will follow. He gets the first headshot that he needs of four, but will not get any more as he said. To shoot C4s out of the sky due to the low latency that we have. So we may yet see that be a thing. And I like this combo they've got here. It's novice providing permanent intel. There comes one C4. So they anticipated that and backed away well. Do they know that a second may yet follow? That is an interesting question. Let's We've go. got a great view here. How comes? But they were too quick. Liquid managed to move forward. But what has happened throughout those two wow. C4 attempts? We've got a double kill from M King there, and we can see that that is still becoming. All because they didn't have IQ there to kill it, and they didn't look up to find it. They had all the map control that they needed, and they lose in that fashion. You gotta check your ceilings.